Hello everyone, my name is Drew, how are you? Today I am joined by my very good friend, Chef Miker, and his very good friends. One is Fred, and this guy is Sam. So today we are going to sketch your suggestions from Instagram. Sound fun? So let's start the show. <clears throat> well, hello there. How do you do? This is Camp Pencil Point. And my name is Drew. So sharpen your pencils and we'll start the show. Because it's now time for harmonica intro. These guys stink. <laughs> ah. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, otters and dragons and octopi, my name is Joe Fu, and I am the director here at Camp Pencil Point. And I am joined by my two very good friends, Drew the Dracopus and, and Chef Miker, who gave, who gave us a very interesting, uh, a very, very interesting intro to this show. But I, more importantly, I am joined, I'm joined by everyone out there watching us on YouTube. Thank you for stopping by. We're sure glad to have you. And hey, I think you're stopping by because uh, I heard you like to draw. So, uh, you know what? If you like drawing and you like having fun drawing through the use of nonsense and tomfoolery, you're in the right place. Please subscribe to the Camp Pencil Point channel. All you have to do is click the subscribe button below, somewhere in the description, and I think somewhere in the video, there might be a logo that pops up that you can click to and subscribe to our channel. So a few years ago, we started Camp Pencil Point as a safe place for kids to go online and have fun drawing. We encourage kids of all ages, from the ages of 3 to 30 to 300, I got it right, to sketch along with us. And we encourage parents to sketch along with their children because creativity is always better when it's a shared experience. So today is an Otter House activity, which means it's a little simpler. We break it down into a little more basic ideas, a little more basic concepts. Um, it's a chance for beginners to jump on, but it's a chance for more experienced artists to stretch their muscles and try something new and experiment a little. So whatever you do, as you draw along with us, have a lot of fun. So we're going to continue what we did in the live video this past Thursday. We're going to continue drawing our theme and we're going to go to Drew right now who's going to tell us what that theme was and who gave us that suggestion. So Drew? Hey Fu. Yeah, we got two suggestions on Instagram. One was from our friend Jasmine and she said a llama and the other was from our friend Alex and she suggested a princess. Thank you Drew. Thanks for reminding us on Thursday in our live sketch, we drew a Snow White Llama. The suggestion was a Princess Llama from our two very good friends, Alex and Jasmine. And they suggested this idea through Instagram. And just a reminder, you could follow me on Instagram. There's my handle right there. You can suggest anything to me through comments or through direct message. You could also message a Drew T. Dractopus, and there is his handle right there. And suggest us ideas when we uh, have a call for suggestions. Be sure to jump on and let us know any ideas you have for us to draw. So on Thursday during the live sketch, we drew a Snow White Llama. And that was a lot of fun. And I think we could stick with the theme of princesses and llamas together as one with this sketch today. And I think... There is one important princess that we sometimes overlook when we talk about princesses. But I think she's very important. She's very strong. She's very powerful. And uh, she's quite an amazing character. And that is Princess Leia from Star Wars. So let us draw 
a Princess Leah Lama today in our Otter House activity. So Otter House activity means we're going a little more basic, we're going a little more simple, and this is for beginners to be able to jump on and start. And it also gives experienced artists a chance to stretch their muscles or experiment a little bit and have fun. So whatever you're doing, if you're drawing, if you're drawing along with us, just have fun. So we're going to go to Luxo Jr. We're going to turn him on and we're going to draw a Princess Leah Lama. All right, guys, so we're going to draw today a llama, Princess Leah. Um, and we're going to go using basic shapes, like I always say, use simple shapes to build complex characters. Today, we're using a sphere, but more importantly, we're taking that sphere and we're going to cut it in half. So we're going to construct this entire character out of half circles, half spheres. So let me move my guys, and we will flip to a new page, and we will get started. So today, I'm going to be using three things. Um, I'm going to be using mechanical red. I'm going to be using my, as always, my zebra brush. And I'm also going to use a yellow Prismacolor. And I'm going to show you a little different technique in uh, that we're going to use to lay down a yellow without getting the smudgy blue line or the spongy uh, smudging our, our black ink line. So, first things first, as always, I'm going to start with a line of action, an action line. And I don't think I actually went over an action line in my Octopus House activities, but maybe in a future uh, Octopus House activity, I'll explain what the action line is. But I'm going to start right away with my half circles, my half spheres. And you will see, I'm going to actually use a couple of circles too, as well. And they're just going to help me with my half spheres. Keep them, keep them together in a contained area. And I... I am drawing through, which means drawing as if the character is transparent. And that means you can see through this character for the moment. And that what this does is help me place everything where I need it to go. And there we go. I'm pretty satisfied with this. Uh, everything seems to be held together nicely. There's a lot of... Uh, a little bit of fun in that character so now I'm gonna actually go in and go kind of roughly with my yellow Prismacolor and I'm treating it pretty rough because I'm not, I'm not going to let it dictate where my line is. I'm not going to be overtly concerned. If it goes over the black line and it goes into the character or whatever, it is just a sketch. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to freak out about it not being absolutely perfect. I'm going to be loose and I'm going to kind of have fun because this is a sketch. So as you all may or may not know, Princess Leia from A New Hope was a pretty strong individual and she didn't take any anything from any of the characters so we're gonna give her a nice determined look a stern look if you will a confident look and going with the flow of these half circles half spheres And letting those shapes kind of aid me, give me a little assist on forming this character. You can see those half circles becoming part of the ear. 
I'm going to go with the roundness of the neck first. I'm going to stop halfway because she actually wears a collar on her, her very white outfit. So I'm going to indicate where that collar is. And usually I would put a solid straight line right here. I'm going to actually kind of break it a little bit. Just give her a little bit of looseness. I'm going to treat this collar in three dimensions volumetrically, which is why it's wrapping around her neck as opposed to going straight through. There is a feeling of it wrapping around and going behind her, and that's what I'm looking for. So I've gone down to her sleeve, and New Hope Princess Leia had big puffy sleeves. So I'm going to use that half circle to indicate my big puffy sleeve. And let's throw her hoof in right there. And since we're here, let's do the other puffy sleeve. And I'm going to throw a little texture. What's nice about clothing is you could you don't have to follow my texture exactly. You could be creative and do whatever feels right for that moment. Here is one of the most defining characteristics of Princess Leia from A New Hope. Those amazing hair buns that look like cinnamon rolls. So definitely we're including that there. I'm gonna give myself an idea of where this leg is just because there is a belt on this outfit. And for all intents and purposes of this sketch, I am just gonna make it a single black belt. Sometimes simplicity is the best. The other thing that she had in A New Hope was this dress, a long flowy dress. So we're going to indicate that here. And her outfit also had these big boots. So we're going to indicate that there. A little bit of texture. And we're going to throw the other big boot in as well. And she is a llama. So let's give her that fluffy tail. And now you can go in and clean up a little bit of yellow for areas that are missed. But like I said, because it's a sketch, you're allowed to be rough with it. It's allowed to be loose and just enjoy the flow. And I think I am good to go with Princess Leia Lama. Put a quick signature on there. And there you go. Here she is, guys. Princess Llama. It was a lot of fun. I like that. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Jasmine, for the uh, two suggestions that we mashed together. That was a lot of fun. Uh, check out the other video from the from the live sketch on Thursday where I put together uh, Snow White and a llama. So we had a Snow White llama. It was a lot of fun, and we might wrap up the theme of llamas. We might not. There's a lot, a lot of princesses out there, and there's a, <laughs> there's a lot of llamas. So we'd like to see what you at home can do or have done. Take a picture of the art you just drawn, whether it's a llama princess or just a llama or just a princess. 
post it up on social media. If you do post it up to social media on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram, be sure to hashtag us. It's hashtag Camp Pencil Point. All the artists of Camp Pencil Point will keep an eye out for it. And if we find it, we'll like and comment. So please put your artwork up there for the whole world to see and share the joy of art with everybody. Well, thank you everyone for joining us today in this video. We hope you had fun. If you liked it, please do subscribe to this channel. There's the logo. All you have to do is hit a subscribe button that's somewhere below in the description and there might be one that's popping up somewhere at the bottom of this video. There's also a bell icon up there somewhere that you can click on to get immediate notification on when we go live or when we post a new drawing video. Please share Camp Pencil Point with your friends and family because as I said before, creativity is always better when it's a shared experience. So thank you for joining us again today. Uh, visit camppencilpoint.com. There you will see more videos. You'll find tutorials and you'll find, uh, you'll be able to meet all of the artists at Camp Pencil Point. And uh, you'll also be able to get a link to all of our social media so you can be up to date on all our activities and all our art and everything that we're doing. So until next time, until next time, everyone, please draw 20 minutes every day. And by doing this, you'll keep your pencils dull, but your skills will be sharp. See what I did there? Also support the arts and support your favorite artists by liking their artwork, uh, sharing their artwork and giving proper credit, and also commenting and complimenting their artwork because we sure love having a good conversation. Finally, 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 and most importantly, go out and be amazing and be awesome and never stop creating and never stop inspiring. Until next time, keep drawing and we'll see you soon. Hey, Camp Pencil Pointers! This is Drew. I'm here with my friends, Chef Miker, uh, Fred, and I think Sam. Chef Miker, Fred, and Sam, we're all here, and we're going to start sketching some suggestions that you gave us on Instagram. So let's start the show. <clears throat> hello, hello, how are you? I messed up the song again. Sorry, dude.